Well, I think that the Home Depot Jack in the Box wasn't planning on it, but my wife came home today and surprised me with a receipt that she bought it. It was the last one I seen in the area, and it was a demo, the display model, so there was no box. But it had instructions, and you can download instructions on there. It's called a barcode reader, and those work pretty good, actually. I actually had the sleeves on reverse, so I couldn't mount the uh, little back side uh, fabric on there. I finally figured it out by watching the instructions. But uh, it's cool. I really like this. This is probably the best jack-in-the-box out there I've ever seen. I normally don't have clowns in my display. A few years ago, I put one clown. I call it Crunchy the Clown. It had a big mallet on it and everything. But... uh it's pretty cool. I'm going to have to reincorporate it. I already got the giant skeleton, so I've been kind of spoiled this year on the Halloween end. So, but let's listen to it some more. Activate the sensor. I remember when you were little, there were so many things that you were so afraid of. <laughs> what a little crybaby. I'll find you in your dreams and conjure up some. Things huge. <laughs> I like my little tooth, don't you? It starts out quiet, and then ah, it surprises the pants off you. <laughs> I love this job. I think next it does the laughing bit. Some emotion. Let's put a smile on that face of yours. <laughs> Smiles or screams. Either way works for me. laughs like that but anyways another prop to fit into the yard haunt this year it's gonna be kind of crowded i need to get a bigger yard anyways just uh like and subscribe thanks bye